there we go. Look, we're almost uh, out of time, but do you want to address that question that people were asking? Why is Sky News covering renewable stuff all of a sudden? Oh, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. They have had to pivot to this 2050 target, and I think, I honestly do think, it is because Kevin Rudd is getting to them. Oh. <laughs> What? As in convincing them or annoying them? Annoying. Them. <laughs> it's mad because that's the, incredible. That's the incredible. The driver, the driver of the Murdoch Empire. Now, the only way they're able to spit all of this stuff out because none of it's profitable. Their big horse is real estate dot com, <laughs> and Kevin Rudd's just been saying like, "Get rid of real estate dot com. Fuck it." You just you don't use it anymore, and they've freaked out about that. <laughs> and so they've and and like other external pressures as well. The fact that Biden's just going all in on a climate change, and so to get their kind of like insight into the loop, there was kind of like a bit of backroom dealing there. But there's a lot of things that is just moving them towards getting the 2050 target. Now it doesn't actually mean anything. It's exactly the same as the Liberal Party saying, "Yeah, we support climate change," and they're not doing anything about it. Which I think. This is the whole thing that I don't understand. Like, if I was the Liberals, and they are doing it, but I would just do this all the time. You know how they're just thinking about inventing a federal ICAC? The things I've heard about it from lawyers and stuff, they've just been saying, don't bother. Don't have a Liberal Party ICAC because it's just going to be a show pony sham that is worse than not having an ICAC because they can just point to it and say, yeah, yeah right. just none of us are getting uncovered by this like little yeah. fucking song and dance commission. Yeah, it? and as we learnt... It's not. It wouldn't be funded properly. They don't fund it properly anyway. Yeah. Yeah. They won't fund it properly. They'll give it no teeth. Yeah. But it gives off the illusion that they're being held to account. It's yeah, the yeah, best yeah. of both worlds. It's an amazing trick. And Sky News has picked up on this. That they've realised, okay, 70% of the population believes this. We are getting hit all the time. It is affecting our profits. Okay, we believe in the 2050 target now. Uh, that's why they've started moving their coverage into oh yeah all of a sudden we believe in climate change isn't it incredible all of these columnists all of these commentators are just sat there being like it's a scam order from the top everybody changes their attune instantly just completely Crazy. convictionless scum all of them i did not yeah. just following CCP. out orders, henchmen ccp yeah well it's, it's a very centralized structure uh, Oh, you're saying that they just See, take government I'm saying. orders? It's just like, they dude, take government orders. We yeah. have a CCP here. It's just the corporate sector. Yes. Every society has a CCP. Mm. Well, and that rem- that sort of reminds Fuck. me, the new it's premier's crazy. entire thing is now how he's pro-business. I think he's trying to woo all the business, uh, business support that Gladys maybe lost out because of the lockdown. Yeah, I think so. So it could be a win-win situation for them. Yeah, I don't know. It was just, he, no, he, he knew again that he had the opportunity to give himself the credibility of being the pro-business candidate, mm. as if anyone gives a shit about that. But he, the business community gives a shit about that. And he was able to just say, yeah, I'm a new face, so I'm just able to do the same things. But it's just, I don't know, man. As a real estate agent once said to me, it's all marketing, bro. Well, I think he was kind of right. Yeah. yeah, it is. No, I think I, I agree. I mean, like, I, I, I think you're right. I think one of the big demands is coming from airlines to scrap the even one week uh, home quarantine system, which Australia is trying to really? enact, saying like business people that go overseas don't have the time to stay at home <sighs> for one week. So, Jesus. So that's the new law. So we'll see if uh, the I new premier succumbs to that. Because if he is able to do it, that's going to be against, like, because we haven't done any pilot programs for it. He's it's stri- be a big call. He strikes me as like a, a Reagan, Reaganite politician where it's like government is the problem. One of those people that goes into government to be like, I'm just here to stay out of the way. I don't I, I think, think he went into much politics credit. to just be like, yank fucking legalize abortion. Like that's oh, him. Oh, right, right. And then right. like all, oh, he compromised. Sell it. But that's the, that's the trap. That's the trap. You don't want to make the next election about abortion. No. No, it, but it doesn't this matter the whole thing. Are, are, like, these abortion. things are just so beyond our power. Like I, I, I never saw any. This is the thing that made me very disillusioned about politics. 
the coverage of Gladys Berejiklian like it was the death of Kim Jong Il when she. <laughs> how good was it? How perfect was the financial flowers review? Flowers getting thrown at her office. How, how good was the financial review? Like power. That just made me just be like, oh, wasn't love that, that amazing? I just, love that. It, it didn't stop for a day. Power for a day. It just yeah. flipped over. Got out on corruption suspicions. Yeah. The next day. They come up with the Daniel Andrews under investigation for IBAC. I, I've done very cursory looks into it because I just don't look into uh, Victorian politics at all. I think it's about branch stacking. I'll have to look more into it. Yeah, one like, of the guys not, resigned recently because of branch stacking. Right. But that is not using your power to approve development proposals. Mm. And th- it, this is like really, really rudimentary stuff, but immediately, nine Fairfax sitting there saying we should get rid of ICAC, not useful, then sitting there saying, I back, I back said it, step down now, you have to step down now. The next day, yeah. it was just, they, they, they didn't skip a beat. Yeah. The, the machine kept churning. I thought, if the Deputy Premier and the Premier steps down, they're going to have to say something. Nothing. Nothing. It's it pretty incredible. It is, it is amazing. Well, you heard it here, folks. I'm proud for everyone, bro. Baby, don't say never